Good morning, Capricorn. Welcome to your 2024 tarot reading, where we are going to look into each and every month. We also have a card here that's going to be the energy of the entire year. So it's a card that we are definitely going to pay attention to throughout all the cards, throughout the reading. <clears throat> I just saw a big raven flying by, so I also feel that ravens might be a sign for you. Something you should pay attention to. Other things I want to say? Yes. <laughs> Make sure to write things down while you're watching for each month. If you get intuitive messages throughout the reading, write it down as well. So really trust uh, and listen to your intuition throughout this reading. But I think we should just jump into this card to the energy of the, the year. But also, I have made it easy to find every month. I have put it into sections, so it should be easy for you to follow through throughout the year if you just want to recap what we talked about but all in all energy we have the knight of coins so the knight of pentacles that is a very very beautiful energy to get so it's a card we should pay attention to throughout the reading throughout the year another thing i do want to mention with this card with this energy is that throughout the year if you feel like things are going slow, it doesn't mean that you are on a standstill or it doesn't mean that things are not moving along or coming together because they are. But when the Knight of Coins, the Knight of Pentacles comes up in a reading is because that it asks us to pay attention to how far we have come. And maybe you have the tendency to actually forget what you have already accomplished. So it's very, very important for you to realize how far you have come and it's probably something that's going to come out throughout the entire reading for each month where you actually realize how far you have come so be proud of your journey in 2024 already now when you watch this be proud of what you have accomplished and what you are accomplishing, what you are creating. Don't stop. No matter how time consuming it is or how slow the process is. It's like building a house or restoring an old house. It takes time because you put your love and your heart into it. The same with a project, with a business, with yourself, right? So I feel for you you are balancing the sureness in your life and you are probably also in the midst of all this guiding other people another thing for the next year ahead is pay attention to nature work with nature it might actually benefit you to take walks or just you know do some kind of nature activity but Make your dreams and your wishes come true, because they will come true. With that, I think that we should just straight away jump into January. So let's see for January. Wow, what a beautiful card to start out, out with, especially with the Knight of Coins, right? Creative Endeavor. So what are you jumping into? Are you starting a new project? Or are you restarting because i believe that we still have mercury retrograde going on in the beginning of january so there might be something you're going back to something that brings you joy again it could have to do with photography music painting traveling whatever it is you are starting out the year with really going after what it is that you truly want and there might be something coming up where there is an opportunity for you to actually follow a new path or a path that's connected with your heart, with joy. You have a lot of options already in January. 
And I think that's actually that. I think we should just jump straight into February. I think that's the fastest January <laughs> reading I have done until now. But it's just because that it is that easy. Again, also with the combination of the Knight of Coins, do not give up. No matter how slow the process if, is, do not give up on it. If it brings you joy, keep going. For February, we do have a reverse card. Do not panic just because that some cards are reversed. We are going to talk about it. But the vast universe spirit, number one. So again, you have started a new journey. So you could in February feel isolated or you feel stuck in a situation. Maybe it's this energy of trusting the process, right? Trusting the universe because the universe did put you on this new journey for a reason. So once again, I want to point you in the, in the direction <laughs> to the Knight of Coins and tell you that even if the process feels slow, do not give up. See how far you have come. See how far you have come, especially in February. Do not isolate yourself. Do not keep what you are creating away from the world. You might really be guided to share a little bit more of yourself. And if you have been used to isolate yourself, it might be hard for you. I feel for you, you're looking for new connections. You're looking for a new way of bringing solutions about. And it is a process. You do need to really trust in February that you actually know how to figure this out. You know how to figure this out by yourself. So there might be a theme of releasing fear and anxiety for you in February. And with that, I think we should actually just, <laughs> wow, one, one, jump into March, new beginnings. There you go. For some of you guys, there might actually be something about um, becoming pregnant or working on becoming pregnant or something about babies or children. Maybe you want to work with children. But regardless of what this is, in February, you might have doubted yourself, your abilities, but then you actually realize in March how far you have come. Once again, you realize how far you have come. And you realize that this is a new beginning. This is the beginning of... A new journey, a new life. Again, one one. So really pay attention to one 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 or eleven eleven throughout February, but also March, because it for sure is going to guide you. Also, we have nature here, so it could be that you are being asked to be more out in nature, maybe working with nature, maybe there is something that you can take from nature and create from. So there's something wonderful, something magical, something new that's coming into your life in March. And it's actually interesting because I feel it has been the theme for everyone that March is a month where something magical happens. It's the beginning of spring, isn't it? Isn't that the month for most of us where the seasons are changing and it becomes a little bit more colorful. So for you, whatever it is that you are interested in entering, especially when it comes to something creative or when it comes to something around um, medicine, healing, the spiritual, Reiki, again, energy healing, whatever it is, there is a potential for you in March to start a new career maybe even working with animals. Whatever it is, it's very important for you to let yourself follow a pathway that feels healing, that feels joyful, that feels creative. A pathway where spirit and the universe is actually guiding you, where you trust, once again, you trust the process, bring more colors into your life. With that, Let's jump into April and see what we have. So in April, we have the energy of laws. And once again, I do want to point out, do not panic. Aquarius actually got the same cards. And as I also explained there, 
a lot of the times when the lost card comes up especially in april well first of all maybe something happened in april the previous years it could be five years ago it could be recently you are being reminded about something you lost you're being reminded about something that you had to let go and this card comes up a lot of the times when we keep ourselves stopped when we keep ourselves in the mindset of fear when we don't want to go after our dreams because we believe that something bad will happen or it doesn't take off anyway or we are afraid of letting love into our life so there's something that's happening with this new beginning where you realize that something else is falling away. Something that you don't need anymore. It could be the old you, old part of you. It could be fear and anxiety. For some reason, it might be hard for you to let go of it because it's been a companion for you. But you are being asked in March to go in a new direction. And the universe could also take over here and make something disappear or break something apart so that you move into a new circle. It could be that you lose your job. It could be that something happens that pushes you into the unexpected. It might feel uncomfortable, especially when we dive into our fears, but it's not a prediction for something negative. I don't want you to think that it's not a suffering, but it's you realizing that something doesn't fit anymore. If it's a relationship, if it's a friendship, if it's an item, whatever it is. I feel for a lot of you, it's something from the past that comes back up. That it's something that's connected with the fear of failing, the fear of losing something, the fear of being alone. It could be that you feel like you're drifting apart from someone or drifting apart from something. Whatever it is, it comes into your life because there's something needs to be addressed. Something that is very difficult for you. And it needs to be addressed with calm. It needs to be addressed with self-love, with clarity. It could be that you simply need to grieve because that something might have broken apart already last year. But you haven't given your time to fully grieve because sometimes grieving does mean that we need to let it go, right? We need to realize that something actually is gone. Something is not with us anymore. And it could be a major or a minor thing for you. But regardless of what this is for you, April does have the theme of loss. But once again, it's not a prediction. See how far you have come. I do have this energy of like you are missing something. And it could be because that some, well, if you give birth to a baby or if you become pregnant, you might want to share it with someone who did pass away a long time ago. Or if it's, again, you're building up something new, you are buying a house or whatever it is, something that you're very, very proud of and you want to share it with someone who's not there anymore. And it might bring up again this theme of loss. Some of you guys might actually out of whatever happened or happens here, write a book or write a song or again paint. Sometimes the most beautiful songs and paintings and music and whatever comes out of loss or comes from loss. So use it with that. Let's jump into May. In May, we have a reversed milestone. And the first thing that jumps out is that you might not see how far you have come because it is this theme for you to see how far you have come. Don't let whatever this is, whatever happened or happens in April, do not let it take away how far you have come. I feel there is a milestone for you to celebrate, but for some reason, you might not feel up for it, for whatever reason. 
And maybe it is because that you are, again, you've been directed from the beginning to go in a new direction. But maybe you haven't really gone in that direction yet because it means that you need to let go of something else. Something that's not working. There could also be delays going on. I actually can't remember if we have a Mercury retrograde in May, but there could be delays. And it could make you frustrated. Again, just because something is delayed or something goes slow, because again, it is a theme of the year, doesn't mean that it will never happen. It just takes time. So if there is cancellations or delays, do not panic. And I think we are going to realize why when we come to July. So even through that something is not happening as planned, doesn't mean that you can celebrate the milestone. Maybe it even gives you the time to actually polish something or finish something. There is always a reason for delays and detours in our life. And you just come from a month where there might have been some very deep healing. So give yourself time in April, but most definitely also in May. So, June. <laughs> Yes, look at that. The loving man. If some of you guys have been going through a breakup or a divorce or whatever it is, there might actually be someone new or someone coming into your life. Maybe some of you guys have been single for a long time and maybe these months are just a month where you're like realizing that, oh my God, everyone else is getting married and having kids and I'm here, you know, not where I thought I would be. But whatever this is, so if there's a project, again, that gets delayed, something new comes in that will help you. For some of you guys, it's a new relationship. For others of you, it could be a business partner or it could be someone who can actually help you. It is connected with people. It could be a family member, male or female, who is supporting you and helping you. Whatever, whoever this is, a lover, a friend, business partner, it is definitely here to celebrate you and to tell you that now is the time the delays are over and now is the time. Whatever, you know, was delayed in, in May happens in June. Whatever was canceled in May happens in June. So there is definitely a very sweet soul that comes into your life brings you joy. Maybe we get told a little bit more when we come to, to July, but it is most definitely going to be a new romantic relationship or a already existing relationship that deepens even more. And I think we should go to July to see what is happening here. Wow. Whatever happens in June brings you back to self. And it also brings you back, back to the creative flow of things. Your higher self. Wow. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's interesting that it's number two, where in February you might have wobbled a little bit, maybe trusting in your higher self in the universe. But here, whatever you have been going through has definitely made you stronger. And it has brought you back to who you are, who you are becoming. And your higher self, that is you. It is your future self. It's the person, the energy that knows everything. And you can tap into that energy. And I also feel for a lot of you guys, you realize that people see your pure heart. You realize that you open people's heart, that you bring joy. There's something special about you and you realize that. There might even be something with past life healing or you realize um, why there has been a trauma. Because for some of you guys, it might be connected with a past life. So there might even be for some of you guys, um, an event or something happens where you're going to a tarot reader or you're going to a therapeut. What do you call that? Therapeut? That's, uh, that sounds wrong. A therapist? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, God psychologist <laughs> what to call that you go to someone who might actually um well actually something just got pointed out to me it might actually have something to do with 
you tapping into nature healing or Reiki or energy healing or whatever it is. Hmm. But you're being awakened definitely in July. You finally feel this inner true power. And then in August, wow, you're taking your steps. You're not afraid. Where in the beginning of the year, you were a little bit afraid of actually going in this new direction. So you had to experience some kind of loss to be put back on track and experience the pure you, the energy from spirit. I actually feel this is going to be the year where if you're not already spiritual, you will become even more spiritual. You're awakening and tapping into your psychic abilities. So whatever happens in August, you are taking action on it. If it's you showing the world what you have been working on throughout the past year, the past years, or if it's you starting up a new journey with a new career or a new job. It's something you are very, very excited about. It might bring you to another country or another city. But yeah, once again, I do see you going to some kind of event that has to do with the milestone. Maybe some of you guys are getting married. I mean, who knows? Something big is definitely happening in August. Being celebrated, I heard. So some of you guys could actually do something with the public. Um, it could be a little community, uh, whatever it is, it's, it's definitely you stepping forward, stepping into the new. And maybe we can see in September what you're stepping into. <laughs> Success. You had AIDS somewhere else, didn't you? Yeah, here. You will have success, big success with whatever this is. I don't think it's, well, also, look at, look at that, the new beginning. Whatever you started out in March, you reap the success from that. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six months after you started this journey. So some of you guys, you might actually already be pregnant and then, you know, giving birth in August. So that means that some of you guys might actually become pregnant already in January. But regardless of what it is, if it's baby making or if it's uh, something creative, you becoming a psychic, a healer, you will have a lot of success by September. And again, it might be the end of September, so do not panic if things are going slow because it's still something you need to remember throughout the year. And... I don't think there's anything else to say because, again, whatever you start out in March, the rewards are coming full on. Well, it's already coming in in June, but the full effect will definitely be here by September. So let's just jump into October. I wonder if some of you guys are becoming a teacher. You have been a student in life for a long time. And now you're ready to teach people what you have been going through. It could be laws. It could be that you help other people who have experienced law, uh, laws. <laughs> who have, well, the, the, the lack of love. People who have experienced laws. People who lost people. I think some of you guys are going to help other people with grieving. To understand the process of grieving, to understand the process of becoming a new person after there has been loss, no matter if it's the loss of a job, the loss of your identity, whatever it is. For others of you, if you're not the one who are stepping into becoming a teacher, because obviously not everyone wants to do that, it could be that a new teacher is coming into your life to prepare you for the next step. But I do see that you are studying something, you're looking into new things, maybe even writing on things. Again, whatever it is, it's like you learning something and you are starting to build your new life with it. So let's see what is happening, happening in November. We have present power. 
it's the same person so i do feel so you guys you have like even if you also have become a teacher in a way there is also someone who's teaching you and preparing you showing you how powerful you are and i actually do already now want to take this card yeah because i had a feeling that there is an energy where you might go back to like it says playing it safe so once again knight of coins we spoke about this energy of see how far you have come be in the present see your power feel your power don't play it safe. It's also very fitting for December and New Year's because you see, I heard so much power, but nowhere to go. Or you put it nowhere. Like someone had, sorry, that just jumped in. Like someone is speaking with you. Like you have so much power, but you don't put it out there. So it's very important. And also want to point out that obviously this is like you know the potential the time frame of this can be very different depending on how you go about each month now that you know that there might be energy of not believing and trusting in yourself in february you can turn it around and maybe by the end of the year you are not playing it safe because you believe and trust in yourself you are taking the steps you know that you're good at what you're doing so this playing it safe might never come about. You might never have a conversation with a teacher or a person that tells you so much power in you and you are not doing anything with it. So you guys, it might be an energy that comes about in this December. But someone did tell you that, hey, you're playing it safe and you need to go out there. And I think I never finished the sentence with the New Year's. Or, but yeah, that <laughs> this is, um, yeah. Wow, I cannot, uh, fireworks, there you go. Um, there is something to celebrate and you need to be a part of the party when we come to December 2024. Because for you, there is a lot of strength in the here and now. There is a lot of strength in you being centered and trusting yourself. I mean, I know for Capricorn, it can be hard sometimes. And I have Capricorn in my Mars and my Mars is where I have the highest degree. So it's my soul path. If you know your birth chart and you know where you have your highest degree, pay attention to that because it's your soul path. It's your soul power. Um, so for me, the energy of Capricorn, also this, feel, this feeling, this reading, it speaks to me as well because there's so much power in the energy of Capricorn, the energy of you. So you need to put it out there. You are a born leader. You are born to have success. You are a money magnet. But sometimes I think that you forget that you are all that. And 2024 is going to show you that. Yeah. And also something I pay attention to here. There's no chains. Right? Animals are free. So you are free. <laughs> Let your animals be free. <laughs> Not your physical animals, but you, your power, your bravery, your courage. Let it be free. Because something is happening where you are stepping up the game. But then you are questioning yourself like, ah, hmm. But do not play it safe. And I think that is actually it for you, Capricorn. Wow, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you made notes. I hope it all makes sense or will make sense. Like I said, it there is chapters for each month. So if you want to go back throughout the year, you can easily find the month you are in. And for some reason, I'm being pointed in the direction of October. So I feel once again that October is also a very important month. And it's definitely connected with something that happened in april no matter how many years it is ago but thank you capricorn for letting me read your future your potential with that i will see you guys in the daily readings and i hope that you guys are going to have a magical 2024